Greg, an impressive performance there, you know, unanimous decision win over Greg. First, I've got to ask you, you know, you had a tough weight cut, yeah. um, you know, for you did, obviously you won the fight, but did that have any effect on your game plan thinking, you know, I'm a bit weight drained for this? No, um, yeah, I got a couple of things wrong with the weight cut, first time in my career, but um, I don't think it affected me too much in the fight, like, to be honest. Um, might have slowed down a little bit in the last rounds, but only because I knew he was going to come a bit more desperate, a bit more dangerous, so I tried to sort of stay out of the warring with him, as I felt like I was going ahead. But no, I felt, I felt good in there. You know, you were really dominant there, you used the clinch perfectly, the elbows as well in the corner. He didn't want to cut, he didn't seem to cut, he seemed no. to yeah. not be human with, uh, yeah. you know, he didn't really mark him up, but you were putting yeah. a lot of pressure on him. And, you know, exerting that pressure for you, is that where you like to be in a fight? Yeah, um, I did. I felt like I hit him with a few few good shots, but he, like he said, he didn't want to cut or he didn't really look wobble. Maybe, I don't know, sometimes it's hard to tell when you're in there. Um, but no, I don't really uh, believe in starting off slow like they do in Thailand, perhaps, <laughs> with Thai fighters. Um, they're, they're very good in the third and fourth round and fifth rounds in the way that they fight over there in the stadiums. But, um, so I always sort of start quite proactive, start off asserting yourself straight away. You know, you've you've already fought, you know, some top Thai names, pack on for one. You know, when you're fighting these Thai names, that some fighters who are coming up seem to think, oh, it's this big daunting prospect. Yeah. You know, as someone, even though you're still at a young age, you fought a lot of these big Thai names. You know, for you, do you think that, you know, for these younger guys, they need to kind of, you know, get away with the stigma and just take it as a normal fight. Yeah, uh, I, I believe so, exactly that, Get like it's a normal fight, it doesn't matter if it had 300 fights, 220 fights, whatever, like some of the hard fights have been with people with like early on in the career that are just up for it. And um, you need to put it in perspective as well, um, it's a human, they've got two arms, two legs, other people have been fighting top ties from a young age, Liam Harrison has been fighting them from, from the get-go, Jordan Watson, other top fighters, so uh, it doesn't really matter about the name or the experience, it's what you do on the day and um, i like to see more British fighters doing the same thing, yeah. You just mentioned Liam Harrison there, I know, yeah. you know in a previous main event show you two were supposed to face off. Yeah. You know, is there any chance that that's still in the process? Um, no, not, well, I'm not having written anything off, I haven't said anything. Um, if the right promoter comes with the right deal and uh, it can be agreed, he's a great fighter, I'd like to fight him, he's done great things to the sport. So. Uh, I just want to fight the best and be the best. Uh, you didn't hold up at all the whole fight, even though using good control. Was that a plan from the start? Yeah, um, when you're fighting some Thai fighters, uh, sometimes they can start off slow and up the gears during the fight. And uh, I feel like it can be an advantage to start off fast and keep the tempo up. Um, this, this the guy, Rungrat, uh, I fought today, um, he was fit as well, so he could maintain the, the thing, the whole, the, the tempo, the whole fight. But maybe I caught him by surprise the first round a little bit. So, if I can gain an advantage by starting off fast, I will do. Obviously, kind of you asserted your dominance very early on from the fight, and it didn't really seem to affect him, obviously as much as you liked yeah. it to. Uh, how frustrating can that be for our fight for you? <laughs> yeah, no, respect to him. Uh, a lot of respect to him. Very tough. Um, I hit him with. I hit him with a few good shots and it didn't 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 phase him. It came came forward stronger. Uh, hit me with some a couple good ones. Um, so that's what you should do as a fighter. If you get hit with a good shot, you shouldn't show it because then as soon as you show it, your opponent get, gets stronger. So respect him. He did exactly what he needed to do. And uh, I like to think I would do the same thing if I got hit with something good. Yeah. You're starting to form a, a winning streak now. What what's next on the cards for you? Um, just want to keep fighting good fighters. I want to keep fighting top uh, top ties, great Europeans, good shows, good promotions, and um, I want to improve every fight. So, not really about the, the title or the name, but I just want to keep improving, keep growing. Do you reckon you'll fight anywhere else other than the main event? Uh, main event's great promotion. Looked after me here, Rob. Um, done some great uh, press and stuff in the build up. Real nice guys, yeah. And I, I hope uh, to everyone at home, uh, everyone in the crowd and at home enjoyed the show. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd like to fight on uh, other promotions too, but uh, if the main event call me again, uh, no, yeah, I'd love to, love to be here again. Uh, there was a big crowd here supporting you today, how much did they help? Pardon? How much did they help? Yeah, yeah it's always great, it's always great um, having good support. Um, my, my team, my team's awesome, I've got a great team, I've got a great team, uh, <laughs> love, love, love the support. Um, a lot of people that couldn't be here still thinking positive, sending positive energy, and it's great. Um, Really you know, strong, strong team at the, at the gym. So many great people surrounding me, and they they help uh, a lot in the build up. Um, 
it's quite hard being around fighters and build up to fights and uh, difficult, but they're very understanding and stuff. So, good. love to all my team, love to the family and everyone there. Um, it helps. And when you're in there, uh, you're fighting not just for yourself. If you've got a good team in there, you're not alone. So. Brilliant. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. much.